Hi team, uh, today we'll learn how to create shorter transformation using Informatica. In the SQL, the order by clause is used to retrieve the data in ascending or descending order. So, but here we do the same, but it's differently. So to do that, first we have to input our source input our source into the source qualifier so it is already in there our source now let me create my target table so here is my target designer so same thing i am dragging here and just doing the rename uh, the rename i am giving though we are doing the short transformation as t or sl emp so my table is not yet created but i have created my uh, transformation so now as according to the business rule we have no need to import this two columns so i am deleting this manager and higher date so then apply and okay so now i have to create my table and also let me take the primary uh, key here because sometimes it's giving us problem just deleting this and now i have to create my table into the target database so before that we have to do that like a uh, what table in which database I have to uh, create the table I have to connect this then I am doing the target table as you see the target database so here is my target database user ID is target and password then I am doing the connection so now here we can see generate and execute if you do that it will create direct table but we want to see how is our sql statement for create table yes so now edit sql file see that that is now it is not showing that to manager and higher date as you see now let's say execute this and then see statement process so now you can see the table is created or not as TRSL EMP. We have to connect first CO and target and target. So it's connected. C select star from uh, S TRSL EMP. As you see, it's table created, but no data is here. If you want to see that table uh, structure, just simply okay, we can do DSC, DSC as tier SL EMP. See that same structure, whatever we have in the target table, it is all created in here see employee number e name job as salary commission and department number so now if you as you saw no raw selected we didn't we don't have any data in the target database target table now we have to do the map let's create our mapping so that create a new map so mapping is as now we have to do the map as to your EMP as L EMP. So this is our mapping. Now just drag here and you'll see we just organize our uh, source qualifier and now what we have to do 
we have to create a our transformation create uh, before that just bring our uh, target table also as well so this is our target table so not targeted now i'm creating the transformation rule the rule is all employee name should be in ascending order so then once you create uh, select this one then it is coming uh, the create transformation and then select the uh, what is that uh, okay, shorter okay. a to z then I'm right, giving the name as tier rule sl emp then create it so done so our shutter rule is ready now what we have to do we have to drag and drop everything in this column so be, let's say and um, here we are dropping now we have to delete specify in which column we are creating our short rule as you see we are not keeping these two columns so deleting and then deleting this one and also we are doing the short rule in here uh, on employee so then go to the properties as you see here is properties there and now we have to do the short tool in here okay we have to select the column then we are selecting say ascending and descending order so we do the ascending order and uh, let's see the do the descending order that means z it will uh, short the data other way around that means it will come first g then y like that so okay apply and then do this now as you see here now as you notice that we we doesn't have two column here now that's why i'm planning to individually mapping there so let's say if it is coming here then it's fine uh, so it is mapped properly or not we can verify in here say emp commission decimal then higher that is not doing that okay now fine we are doing now same thing we are copying just mapping in here all into the target now we are saving this our our target is ready now you're saving you will see the map is valid valid so it is mapping is valid now we are loading the data into the our target database to do that we have to create the workflow so going to the workflow manager then click ok then workflow then create click on create then what is our workflow name w s o r t as l e m p this is our workflow name see our workflow is ready now we have to create the task create task we have to give the task name same t s t k uh, s o r t s l e m p then we have to specify which mapping we are including in here so this is our map so click here and it is created now done before starting the task we have to make sure our connection so 
our connection is say this one is source is fine and this is our target as you see as our tier SLAMP that is our target so it is it is like uh, connected to different that means source table we have to specify our target table okay now apply okay now we have to connect both with the together like a uh, workflow to the tax now save it and you will see workflow short employees banning as you see there now we have to start our task so start our workflow then it is navigating to as it is integrated properly so that's why it's kind of now see it is running running now we can see validate our data how it is uh, showing see get run properties as you see that is what are the running and that is the thing 15 record source and see target has a 15 record that means data loaded successfully so now uh, if you go here if you select now select start from as tier transformation SL EMP then you will see the name will come now differently as you see W is coming and that means A is down that the last name so it is shorted properly and it is not come uh, showing also uh, higher date and salary higher date and manager detail so I think our uh, map and other uh, mapping and target table is uh, loaded successfully so thanks for watching